Hello friends, I'm Liz, and we are Finding Nature's Heroes. We are shooting a documentary about all the people who are saving nature, and we're doing it in this RV. We've been in this RV for about 30 days, and a lot of people have asked us, what does it look like in here? What does your home on wheels look like? Do you have enough room? Do you have enough space? Do you have a kitchen? Do you have a bathroom? So we want to take you on a little tour of our RV. And first, I'm going to pass it over to Brixton. Hello, and this is the couch and dining room, okay? So, we like to sit here. Also, uh, this turns into a bed, my bed. And there's blankets and stuff under the couch that I sleep on. And then the dining room, which we watch like TV and stuff and eat there. We have a great time here. And this dude's bed. And then take, take a nap and stuff. And then we got cabinets up here and over there. Lights, plants. And now, I don't really do much driving. So let's pass it on to Will, who does drive. What'd you say? Oh, I'm your favorite member of Finding Nature's Heroes? That's very kind of you. Oh, hey, how you doing? So this is the cab, right? Between you and me, before all the driving gets done. All right, so it doesn't look like much right here, but if anybody wants to put their drink in a cup holder, they have to ask me. All right, so right here, this is where all the magic happens. It's not a big old fancy, you know, GPS touch screen or anything like that, but it has a Bluetooth capability, so you can listen to the hits of the 80s, 90s, and today. So while I figure out the radio, I'm going to pass you back to Liz. That was good, Will. Thanks. This is our kitchen area, and we got, there's kind of a lot of room in here. You know, we have a microwave. We don't really use the microwave, we kind of use it as storage, because <laughs> it's just easier that way stuff goes flying because we're moving we're moving and we're shaking and when stuff goes flying I take it and I throw it in the microwave and it stays so that's what we've been doing and or the sink the sink has been my best friend um, we get our water here we when we go to a campsite we connect to the water and so do you run the water you'll see we run out of water so we have to here turn on the water pump and that gives us water Ta -da! turn it off Turn off the water pump. Easy as that. We have a lot of storage in here. We have all our food that goes on forever. I actually need a step stool to get up in there because it goes so high and so deep. I bought this nice convection oven because uh, we've used an oven toaster almost every day. They just don't have one. Um, the stove is great. Um, and then we have all of our space for all of the things that we need, all the pots and pans, cups, bowls, things like that. We have very minimal stuff because, um, again, everything just goes flying. So we have very little things. We have these great drawers for lots of space, um, all of our utensils and knives and lighters and all of that kind of stuff. And then we have a freezer. Spacious. We have a lot of stuff up there. Mostly 14 different kinds of pizzas. <laughs> and we have our fridge. And again, uh, lots of space. We have 37,000 condiments and some milk and orange juice. <laughs> um, and then our favorite part, and Brixton's favorite part, is scratching off our map here. So that's a big part of where we are. And I think we're at 20 states right now. 19. 19 20. states. 20 states right now. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna show you back here. So this is our shower. However, we don't use it because it's really small. You can hardly turn around. So when we hook up at a campsite, we use their showers because they're much bigger and better. But what we do use this for is our laundry. <laughs> so if you look in here, So our laundry and then our bathroom, which is pretty small, but hey, we can pee and poop when we're driving. So that's kind of cool. I mean, not while we're driving, because you know, that, whatever, you know what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna pass it to Rich now. So here you go. So, on to the bedroom. Got a little divider curtain for some privacy. And if you wanna step on in, 
Got a nice big bed. It's so comfortable. And I'm a tall dude. And look, I can fit quite comfortably. Lots of rooms, my side, bed. Got my computer and a book. Nice storage to keep all my clothes. You don't want to see that. And look, we keep Brixen's clothes up here because since he's sleeping in the living room, technically, he needs a place to put his clothes. So all his clothes go up here and look all that space. It's a ton of space. There's even animals that live up here. I don't know what that is. Um, but let's roll over to this side. Oh, ow. Yep, that happens every once in a while. Oh, yep. And then sometimes when we're sleeping, you can do one of these. Oh, <laughs> and that's not fun. <laughs> or this. Oh, uh, we've done at least a couple, of, couple of, a couple of those. And then now we got Liz's. Wow, look at all that closet space. Able to fit all of Liz's clothes and sweatshirts and oils and meditation and whatnots. And, yep, and look, Liz bought this at F.E.O. Schwartz to be continued. Okay, and then, so now, ooh, I'm gonna take a rest. My head doesn't feel so good. I'm gonna, let's go check out Will's room. Welcome back. All right, so where we're about to go is where the stars go. Because right here, this is the executive suite. All right, so take your shoes off. I'm just kidding, but seriously, take your shoes off. All right, so we have the privacy curtains because, you know, with me and the homie tank, we're all up here. We don't want to wake the little one. Right here is my jewelry. You can see I got a Casio 2006 limited edition watch. Yeah, can't get those anymore. So right up here, look at all this. Look at all this leg room. You can fit like six babies up there. And I still sleep comfortably. It's nice, right? So let me just roll on over to here. All right, so don't tell them. The reason I chose this was the cityscape. What do you think? Beautiful, right? All right, well, it's about my nap time, so I'm gonna pass you back over to Liz. Thanks, Will. Hope you have a good nap. And that was it for our Cruise America RV rental. Uh, it's pretty spacious and um, we have a lot of room. We can hide, you know, I can hide in the bathroom or in the shower slash laundry room. Um, we can be in the kitchen, we can be in the living room, we can be up front driving. We can be anywhere. We can be in the executive suite up there even though <laughs> Will does not like us to be up there. Um, and we can be back there. So we have a lot of space. And <laughs> We wanted to say uh, thanks for watching. Yeah! <laughs> thanks for watching, and if you like what you're seeing and you're having fun and enjoying our videos, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hold on, hold on. Can we do that again? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to get in. Yeah. Okay, go again. From where? So, if you like our videos? So, if you like our videos and you like what we're doing and you uh, don't forget to follow us, like us, subscribe, tell your mom, tell your grandma, tell the person who cut your hair, it would be really helpful so we can stay and we can do what we love every day. Thank you and we love you. Adios. Bye. Goodbye, dude. Bye. <laughs>